Hi, my name is Paul and welcome to the Doc IT channel. And today I want to show you a simple Kafka consumer example written on Scala. And, uh, and a little bit talking about configuration, about core configuration and group configuration. So, if you don't have any experience of writing consumer, uh, don't worry about that, I'm gonna show you. So, first of all, in Scala we have to add, uh, to configure SBT configuration. And we're gonna add two libraries. The first library it is Kafka, the second is Kafka Clients. Be sure that all these two libraries are gonna be the same version. So, let's write some code. For creation a simple consumer example, you just need uh, to set properties to create a Kafka consumer and subscribe to the topics. And after subscribing to topics, uh, you can pull those messages uh, from those topics. And after this, you do some stuff with those results. By the way, guys, I prepared a list of really good books about Kafka. You can find those lists just above this video. So you just wrote a simple uh, consumer example. And now we're gonna talk about core configuration. So the first configuration, it is bootstrap servers. It is a list of host ports pairs to use the, for establishing the initial connection to the Kafka cluster. Since these servers are just used for the initial connection to discover the full cluster membership, this list needs to contain the full set of servers. The only required setting is bootstrap server, but you should set a client ID since this allowed you to easily correlate requests uh, on the broker with the client's instance which made it. Typically, all consumers uh, with the same group uh, will share the same client ID in order to enforce client quads. But how to configure consumers if we want to uh, uh, create a group of consumers? You should always configure group ID unless you are using the, uh, the simple assignments API and you don't need to store offsets in Kafka. You can control the session timeout by overriding the session timeout MS value. The default is 10 seconds in the Java clients, but you can increase the time to avoid excessive uh, rebalancing. For example, due to poor network connectivity or long garbage collector pause. The main drawback to using a larger session timeout is that it will take longer for a coordinator to detect when a consumer instant has crashed, which means it will also take longer for another consumer in the group to take or its partitions. For normal shutdowns, however, the consumer sends an explicit request uh, to coordinator to uh, leave the group which triggers uh, an immediate rebalance. The other setting which affects rebalance behavior is heartbeat intervals MS. This controls how often the consumer will send heartbeats to the coordinator. It is all also the way that consumer detects when a rebalance is needed. So a lower heartbeat intervals will generate means faster rebalancing. The default setting is 3 seconds. For larger groups it may be wise to increase this setting. Another property that could affect a sense of rebalancing is max fold interval MS. This property specifies the maximum time allowed, allowed at time between calls to the consumer poll uh, method before the consumer process is assumed to have failed. The default is 300 seconds and can be safety increased if your application uh, requires more time to process messages. If you are using a Java consumer, you can also adjust max poll records to tune the number of records that are handled to every loop uh, iteration. So guys, thank you for watching this video. Please like this video and subscribe to this channel. For you, it's just a few seconds, but for me, it's a really good motivation to continue create videos like this.